Ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome to my final vanilla playthrough for Reassembly. I know, I know, it's long overdue, but we are back once again to explore the evolutionary progression of the final vanilla faction, the Reds. Look here, it says warning hard mode. Yes, this is the hard mode of Reassembly, and from what I've heard, it can be quite difficult, especially depending on where you start. But you know what? The, the blocks may be tragically brittle, but the weapon systems are surprisingly powerful. So you know what? Once again, we begin the journey of faction discovery through primordial evolution in the geometric crush that is the reassembly campaign. And what I love about playing these reassembly series is that you guys sort of get to decide with me where we go with the faction or with the species. I like to refer to them more as a species than a faction because they kind of do evolve into something that seems almost lifelike. And I love that. But you guys get to decide what these will be eventually. But hang tight here. So I'm not actually going to name them anything. I'm going to, well, we're going to name them like we did last and we're going to call them the unnamed named there we go the unnamed and uh, we're going to choose a color and i don't like to change a color after i've chosen it so i'm going to try and pick something that kind of works i don't know but if we have to change it we will but my preference is i would like to keep some of the red on here because they're called the reds we have to keep some red on there and i do like the red although i would like to have it a little bit more a little darker like that so it's a little bit more contrasty against like some of the other blocks like the energy uh the energy block and uh some of the other odd blocks here and uh i'd like to have something that was a little not yellow i don't want yellow something oh that looks really nice although that's a little bright maybe maybe uh bring it down a little bit so it adds some contrast yeah see I it's so hard to find a good balance because I'd like to be able to see the difference between the weapons and some of the blocks but if I have it too low then it looks almost too dark although that looks that looks okay that looks okay I think uh, hmm, I wonder if maybe we go a little bit deeper blue yeah something like that and then brighten it up just a little bit there we go that looks really nice I like that okay I'm happy with our colors and uh away we go let's begin season seven of reassembly wonderful <laughs> It's been quite some time since I've played this game, at least, like, really played it. Of course, we do the tournaments, and we've been doing the tournament. Tournament number 11 just recently, which is uh, which is great, but um, <laughs> as far as actually playing the game, I have not played it in quite some time. So, but, I, you know, I, ooh, similar, yeah, we'll just whip through this, uh, the tutorial thing. We'll just keep it on. It's not going to be a big deal. Right mouse button, one to modify ship. So let's take a look at some of the parts that are available for red right from the get-go, because I've always been curious what you start with, and it doesn't look like much. Of course, we have the Penrose Zero, health 47. So that's the thing about the Reds. The health on the blocks is so low. So we've got Penrose Zero at 47, the Penrose One at 76. We've got the Storage Pod, which is surprisingly 118 and 0p. So, you know, the Storage Pod may actually be a great little building block for us. Here, let's just pull that out. Uh, let's let's zoom out here. Let's, let's, I just want to see it individually. Yeah, so the storage pod, look at that. Actually, that looks really nice, as opposed to, like, the Penrose Zero. Now, the interesting thing about the reds, as far as I understand, the blocks cannot be modified in size. Yeah, I can't change the size of the Penrose Zero. Can't change the size of the Penrose One. Uh, the adapter can't change the size. So what you see is what you get. There is nothing else here. Storage pod, of course, probably only one side size there's two sizes of thrusters Inter the thruster has has an interesting design to it as well it's it's kind of that is that a trapezoid i think that's a trapezoid i don't know and then yeah interesting interesting like just just the way it's kind of laid out it's almost almost a almost a rectangle but not quite interesting and then you have the generator which is how much health 143 health but 30p and then the blaster which is a slow fire five no five rounds per second no six energy per shot pretty fast firing then we have one round per second that's the phaser good range 1500 versus range of 600 so the phaser has quite a bit more range but it is much slower firing it's one round per second whereas the blaster is five rounds per second and we start off with a, bl a phaser on the ship as well as two blasters and that's it that's it and these suckers <laughs> when they go down they're going to go down really fast we're not going to modify the ship yet i want to explore the starting the starter ship just to kind of see what he's like oh look at that beautiful so everything here is turreted so we could change our our different keyboard modes so that we can actually use our turret to better effect. I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that right now. This takes a little bit more practice to get used to. You, uh, being Firing in one direction and, sh and, and moving in the other does take a little bit more practice to get used to. I think we'll go back to the regular mode for now. We might change that later once we get more weapon systems. Oh. 
Cursor rotate ship. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, perfect. So let's see what this this thing can do. Let's see if we can actually cause some damage. Maybe collect a little bit of R. <laughs> now, all it's going to take is one or two hits from any enemy. These ships go down very quickly, as we as I know from the tournaments, as we all know from the tournaments. And for those of you that play this game, I'm sure those of you that play have played this game have certainly played the Reds. The Reds... <laughs> There, the temptation to play in hard mode is always high, right? So I'm sure everybody that's watching has actually played the Reds. Um, let's go. Oh, uh, now, uh, farming might be a good option for these guys, actually cultivating some of these crops and making getting our R from farming. But uh, where, where is the fun in that? We want to we want to actually get into trouble. So let's go take a look. Looking at the map here, what have we got? So we have... <laughs> a nice close agent, fan freaking tastic. Uh, Black BX Mud Kip Zero Snipes. Okay, actually, we've got multiple multiple agents fairly close to our starting location, which is actually terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible, but we will deal with it. No problem. No problem at all. We will grow. We will become more powerful. Look at that. The, the red... I will say this. Red ships are, are often look just gorgeous. Come here. Come here, buddy. I got you. I got you. I got you. There we go. First kill. First blood. We did take some damage. Significant damage. Easily repaired. Whoa. Whoa. Fire. <laughs> I love the dog fights at the beginning. Wonderful. Okay, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Too many bad guys over here. Uh, we can probably kill him. No, not two of them, though. Oh, I want that. I want that. Want it. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, dirty. <laughs> so, yes, once again, as I said, you guys have to come with the the come up with the theme for the entire series for season seven. I need to know what you guys think we should be building and why. So I will start to I will build or I will construct our first vehicle or sorry i'm in combat here let me finish this fight <laughs> oh let's kill him he, he killed the other guy so he should have the loot from the other guy too come here come here come here i love the initial dog fight so much fun yeah so you guys once we've built our ship um you guys will probably have an idea of what we should do for a theme and then once i have a theme i'm gonna run with it as i always do oh look one of my guys has has a uh has a laser drone. Yes, the Reds do have laser drones. They also have a... I am kind of got stuck there. They also have a uh, nice, nice, a very nice uh, laser similar to the Proton Sword from Faction 1. They have um, some defensive lasers, I think. They have a, an anti-missile laser and they have um, the Tempest. The Tempest, which is one of the better weapons actually in the game. It's very, very good. It's very fast firing, does a ton of damage, uh, which is great. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, too close, too close, too close. I can probably outrange these guys. Come here. Is that a fly? That's a fly. Oh, you gotta watch out for those flies, man. They will, uh, <laughs> if they get any money, they will replicate themselves. Okay, let's, does he have a factory on him? Let's sell off. Perfect. Excellent. We've already got 802C. We haven't even done anything. We have 802C. Fantastic. We'll be able to start building our first design very soon here, as long as we continue to show some success here. I am surprised that we have not died yet. I expected, I expected to die very, very quickly. Um, but the weapons, even, even these three little weapons are quite powerful, able to destroy some of these smaller ships. Now, we, we wouldn't be able to handle too much at this point, but these little guys seem to be going down very easily. Here, I'll help you out with him. There we go. Very nice. 66. Excellent. Let's go sell off what we have. 163R. We'll go get some more C. It's great. This is uh, quite fantastic. Now, I don't know if the Reds start with stations or they just have large flying ships as their stations at the beginning. I think that's what they are. I think all of the stations for the Reds are actually just ships. Now, does he, he has a factory on him. Yes, he does. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. We're off to a great start. 892C. Social credits. We have 892 social credits. Uh, enough to actually upgrade our ship quite significantly already. What is going on here? What was that? Oh, those are healing beams. Healing drones. That's right. That's something new with the game that I haven't actually explored too much. But there are healing drones or repair drones. Oh, that's so great. Ah, that's great. Yeah, these guys have repair drones. That might come in extremely handy for this... Uh, for this species that we are building. I just want to take a look at the upgrade screen to see what's available here. Yes. So we have two different types of thrusters, two two larger size thrusters that we can exploit. Then we have the Tempest for uh, a staggering 840C. But look at, uh, the Tempest is only 93P. It's fairly small. 
uh, P was in order to put that on a ship. And it also has, where's the health? 1,032 health, which is great. Actually, that's quite good compared to, you know, like the Penrose one. So you'd use, you almost want to use the Tempest as armor as opposed to the Penroses. You know what I mean? And then we have a laser, which is very similar to the... Uh, the Proton Sword from Faction 1, it has a very good turret speed, it has good damage, 250 per second, eh, it's okay, it's okay, and the range, range is 600, it's not bad, it's not bad, and then the Nano, Nano Assembler Beam, <laughs> see, I, I don't know, I, I'm really excited to try that, that's really expensive, crazy, and then the Anti-Missile Laser, the Nano Assembler Drone Launcher, and then this is just a regular drone, if I remember correctly, and then we have the Factory, cool, uh, you know what? I'm not going to open anything up quite yet. Let's go grab a little bit more social credits. Let's get this station or this big massive ship built. Yeah, that's one thing about the Reds. The ships always look so beautiful, right? Well, not always. I suppose you could make it not so beautiful, but I think it's difficult, especially once you add some of the uh, empty space in there. Like some of this empty space in here just makes it just gives it so much character. And look at the way that the two different types of Penrose uh, blocks in there just give that so much contrast. It looks so nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? What's going on? Who's attacking? Whoa, somebody was attacking. Okay, let's expand out here. Let's go take a little, let's go take that station down south from us if we can. Off we go. So we're actually, we have not died yet. I am super surprised. Uh, oh, 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 I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Come on, kill him, kill him. There we go, one more. Oh, we lost our phaser, I think. Oh no, he's spinning, he's spinning out of control. We've got him, we've got him, fire, fire. We're, we're actually, there's no way. Okay, come on. Got it. We gotta have all of our weapon systems. Oh, we're gonna get some help here. Fantastic. Does he have drones? Yes, he does. Perfect. Launch the drones. Now we don't have missiles as the Reds, which is I don't know. I, I'm so used to having some kind of missile, but I guess drones. Drones will be sufficient, and the laser drones are actually not too bad. They're not too bad. They're not as good as the B drones, but I think they're a little bit fat. What? What? I just ran into him. Oh, maybe he did fire at the same time. Whoops. Ah, oh, you know what? I, we were doing so well. We hadn't actually died yet. Oh, I'm so disappointed. But at the same time, I'm surprised that we didn't die until that point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, let's just dodge these guys. Let's see if we can... Oh, this is it. This design here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This, this ship... Ah, oh, I just wanted to show up this ship. This is actually something that amazing. The... Uh, the um, Amazing is one of the tournament competitors. Uh, he's been around since the beginning of Reassembly. That was actually one of his early, early, early designs for tournaments. It's interesting. He told me about that one day. And it's actually part of the part of the game now. That's so cool. Actually, there's so... I mean, people's, all, people's ships become part of this game all the time. Uh, it's just... It's neat how it takes designs from people and it just sort of incorporates them into your game. Uh, sort of at random, which is really, really cool. I really love that. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, he's too far to range. I want to get... Uh, we want to get at least one more station before we start thinking about building our first design. Let's go over here. There's something over here. Let's grab that. Oh, spinny, spinny. <laughs> Some of these... Oh, wow. Oh, big little guys. Uh, they, those are... I'm not sure what those are. They have big lasers, though. Big freaking lasers. Uh-oh. Yeah. Not surprising, but unfortunate. Uh, okay, perfect. Ah, uh, we spawned right here. Perfect. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> didn't even have. Didn't even have a chance. Oh, these guys. Is that an agent? I think that might be an agent. Hold on, hold on. Map. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. They're they're uh interesting ships though. <laughs> Very good at destroying reds, but then who isn't? <laughs> Uh, I can't wait until we actually find a name for, or a theme for our race so that I can actually call them something other than reds. Oh, oh, lasers, lasers. Oh, lasers are not good. They, yeah. Okay, so maybe I won't go for that station down south. Yeah, we're getting crushed over here. The war, we're losing the war in the south. We should maybe head, let's head, let's head west. Oh, 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 we can take him down. Take him down. Between all of us, we should be able to take him down. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's get him. No. No, I'm not going that way. We're going this way. I will start to build our first ship here shortly. I just want to get one more one more station, a little bit more social credits so that we have some room to work. Look at them healing, healing the friendly. That's so cool. I love that. That is great. That's really cool. Um, oh, there's plants. Oh, no, plants. The plants. Oh, that's terrible. The plants will be deadly. Oh, that's actually awful. Okay, let's see. I wonder if we can actually take this station with the plants right here. Probably not. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Come here. Oh, there's actually a plant growing on him. Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's try and destroy the plants here. Okay, no problem. No problem. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Nope, we don't got this. <laughs> At least I got the social credits. 
Ah, uh, can I defend my can I defend my battleship here? Probably not. We have to kill off some of these. Yeah, wow. One shot, one tiny little stray shot destroys this ship. I think we're ready to start building. What do you think? Let's start building a ship and figure out what we're going to be. What are what are factions? What are what our species is going to resemble? And I, d I don't know yet. I, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're off to a beautiful start. Man, that looks gorgeous. And it seems like anything you do with the reds, it looks so good. So I've added some prongs to the front here. So when I do ram into things, at least it's not, you know, game over. Because with the reds, it doesn't take very much to become game over. Now, I... You know what? I'm debating. No, I think the storage the storage pods are actually not as good as the pen rows. Yeah, because it takes four pen rows to make one storage pod. Storage pod is 118 health, whereas each pen rose is 47. So believe it or not, yeah, no, unfortunately that's not going to work. I think we will do just the pen rows. So hold on, let's uh, let's make a diamond here with the pen rose. So we're going to do the diamonds of pen rose in there. So they're just a little bit better health than the storage pods. I thought the storage pods might be better, but no, they're not. The versus health versus uh, the the space that they occupy. The pen rose is better, <laughs> believe it or not, at 47 health. It's better. I did a couple storage pods in the back just to add a little bit of rear defense, and I've gone with the lasers. The laser beams, because I love freaking laser beams. And these are sort of like the uh, the proton sword swords from Faction 1. They're very good, and they're really fast tracking. So I'm really excited to give those a shot. I added a couple extra blasters here, and I did unlock the nano assembler, but I don't have enough points. Oh, maybe I have enough points to throw one on. Because this will extend our life, maybe? Although, I don't know if we stay long enough for the assemblers to actually heal our ship. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to hang on to that. I think this ship is going to need more forward thrust. Let's give it a shot. Oh, before we do that, we have to name our ship. What are we going to name it? Um, I don't know. It looks kind of... It's starting to look a little bird or butterfly like i don't know i'm kind of thinking that might be sort of the angle of the theme that we might go to but i think for our starting ship we'll just name it something a little generic but fun so like the the trinkle no 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 the 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 tricklet the tricklet <laughs> the tricklet oh i love it it's cute too excellent the tricklet welcome tricklet ah perfect let's see oh there she is oh man did that ever build quickly oh nice very nice um not a lot of forward motion. Yes, immediately I always I always undercut the engines. That's why I left a little bit of room, a little bit of P available just to add more engines. I wasn't sure how effective that was going to be. I think what we'll do, we need more forward thrust. We'll add three of those on either side like so. Now that should really improve our forward thrust. Now we don't I don't know how well we're going to be turning. Uh, this that might look a little awkward, but that should work really well to give us some good motion. I don't like stacking engines like that. I really don't. It I just, it always, yeah, see, we're still not moving very quick. We're very, very slow. Now, the prongs will help us, you know, when I ram into things. It'll keep us from getting destroyed immediately when I ram into things. However, it's also going to cause us to get stuck on things. Oh, come here. Uh, let's make sure the bindings. Yes, uh, I want the lasers on auto fire. Prefer, perfect. Excellent. Preferably that way. Yes, when things, when, when bad guys get close, they get zapped. It's sort of the uh, sort of the last resort when things when bad guys get really really close. We have that ability to waste them. Now we're very slow compared to what we were as a brawler. <laughs> Obviously, like look at us. We're just we're we're just chugging along. We might need to add even more engines. Fortunately, they are not expensive. So um, maybe I don't want to really put too much on these little prongs because I suspect I suspect that we're gonna lose those quite often. 
but you know what oh that looks really nice it does look kind of bird-like already doesn't it maybe that will be our theme i will let you guys decide perfect ah oh, that's not bad it's not bad actually it's all right i'm feeling like we have a little bit of forward motion now that's great let's go see if we can get into trouble maybe cause some damage come here come here i want to show you something <laughs> it does it looks very bird-like already very cool, very nice. It's pretty. Everything you do in this game with actually everything in this game is so beautiful. It's just a gorgeous game. It's just love it. Oh, wow. He just whipped right by me. <laughs> come here. Come here. I want to show you something. I want to show you my new lasers. Oh, somebody already got them. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, plants. Um, I see plants. To the west, there are plants. Now, the, the, the problem with these little guys is they can get away from us very quickly. I'm not going towards the plants. I'm going... We're going to capture this station. We'll grab the, the social credits for that. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Excellent. I don't know if I'm going to build stations with these guys. Maybe. But if I build stations, they have to be really thick. Because anything stationary, I think, is just too much of a target. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like with the reds, because their armor is so brittle. If I build a stationary station, I, I think that might be a big mistake. I, I think we have to keep all of our lar all of our craft must be mobile. Uh, there's another station or something up here. Ooh, who's that? Who is that? Is that a Faction 1? looks Faction 1-ish. Interesting. So we found some Faction 1. We found... Oh, lasers. Oh, oh, we're under fire. Oh, no, we're too many bad guys. Too many bad guys. Let's get out of here. No. Oh, man. No, no. Come on. We need support. Where's my guys? I need I need heals. Heals. Here they come. Here comes the heals. Ah, oh, too bad. We almost got away. We drug in. Who are these guys? They're not a... They're not a... They're not agents. They're just... Hmm. <laughs> Even small enemies are dangerous enemies. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we can get the kills, but we have to have... Oh, those engines get shot off so quickly. Oh, man. <laughs> Look and see him run through there and scoop us up. Scoop up our our, 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 our. Um, Yeah, we're pretty vulnerable. So maybe we need to stick beside our, our big guys with our with all the healing drones. That might be a good plan. Oh, we've got multiple factions here. Multiple factions. We've got farmers. We've got faction one. And then who's this? It's hard to tell. Oh, no, no. Spinning. I have no engine power. I can't move. Come on, let's go. No. Oh, we're going to get destroyed. We're absolutely going to get destroyed. Oh, this is uh, this is interesting. Uh, that is definitely Faction 1. He's got proton beams on there. I think those are proton beams. Yeah, pretty sure. And big old shields. Oh, he's they're just wasting our guys. Let's get out of here. There's no way we can deal with that yet. We need bigger, bigger soldiers, larger ships. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, can't deal with him on our own. We can deal with him. <laughs> That's about, that's about all we could deal with right now. It's a little tiny, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to get that station over here. They're just wasting our ships. Look at that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Missile to the face. Um, wow, we're losing territory. Yeah, this is, this is definitely more difficult. Oh, perfect. Let's grab this. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Perfect. Now they're going to come after me. Those big, long proton beams. <sighs> proton beams, they're, they're, they can outrange my lasers. Oh, we just got to get out of here. It's got to go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh, he's chasing me. The little guy's chasing me. There we go. <laughs> Scared him away. Perfect. <laughs> I lose those engines and I can't control my ship. Then I'm in trouble. Okay, let's stick let's stick together. Come on, stay, stay with me. Let's kill this guy. Let's do it. Ah, he's got nothing left. Wonderful. We need to get some drones on these ships. Ah, beautiful. Excellent. Repair, repair, repair. Fortunately, we repair fairly quickly. Excellent. Now let's go try and grab that station. Come on, guys. Let's go. I could try and grab some of these guys and take them with me. But, uh, nah. <laughs> I'm going, I'm flying solo right now. I'm, 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 I'm on my own. Perfect. There we go. So we've got another station. That was 500C. Excellent. Where we will start building our ship even bigger next episode. I want you guys to kind of start to think up a theme. What kind of theme can we have for this series? Oh my god, those were stray missiles out of nowhere. Homing missiles got me out of nowhere. Oh, we lost all of that R. We had a whole bunch of R on us too. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh man. Okay, well, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, kill him. Those proton beams are deadly. They can totally outrange us. Hmm. And I think drones, drones, the laser drones that we can have with this race might help with that. So we're going to have to grab some of those. Perfect. 
Got to sell off whenever, whenever we can. Wow, there is so many bad guys kicking around. Fortunately, the reds, it, it's cheap to build ships, so our ships keep coming back, which is great. But we know from in the past when we played other factions, you know, fighting the reds, it's really easy to wipe out their entire territory. Sort of. Uh, sort of. They do come back fairly quickly, but if, if they are, I mean, you could just wipe through the entire thing really fast. <sighs> so we have to think about how we're going to build stronger ships, but th I'm finding that sh this ship is already too slow. I want it to be faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad guys. Too many. Oh, no, no. We're toast. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, hmm. Let's just take another quick peek. What can we do here? I'm still feeling like we, we need we need better motion. And if we did if we did some engines in the front here, we would get better turning rates. And if we could hide some engines in behind. Yeah, that's not going to fit in there. Even some small thrusters just in behind here like that. A couple more over here. Yeah, that's not going to help much, but it'll help a little bit. All right, good enough. Oh, not enough P. Ah, you know what, guys? We're going to call that an episode. We're totally out of time here. Or I'm totally out of time here. I can't do any more today, but we will be back for episode two of Reassembly in about four to five days. I will do about two episodes of this a week until we are complete, but I need your assistance. I need to know what you think we should use for a theme for the Red Faction. And I don't know, something... So try to think in terms of... I mean, not only the design that we have here... But what in nature is kind of brittle, but has really, is really deadly, but is kind of not that durable. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I can't even think of anything. It does look a little bird-like or perhaps, you know, hmm, or butterfly-like. Beautiful, but deadly. I don't know. Even, even then, I don't know. Is there anything? I don't know if there's anything in nature that even fits that, uh, that category. I don't know. You let me know in the comments below what you think we should do. All right, guys, take care. Bye.